all of this is out breath. See what the, it's important what the waist does here. I'll explain what the, what the waist does in, in this. Making contact, contact and turning. It's loose. As soon as it makes contact, it flicks. You can even get power just from this distance by doing a Fa Jing movement. But notice how the hands again loose in a, uh, a claw, the Taiji, the Dimma claw, as soon as it's finished. So it's always in that ready position. For this position, we, we can go straight into a, a tiger paw palm. Or from this, we can go straight into that palm. We can go into that palm, which is a fist flicking upwards with these three fingers. We can go from there into, into a penetration punch using those two knuckles. We can do anything we want from that position. So from here, it flicks. And notice how the waist flicks backwards. I'm not getting into deep, uh, fudging that much in this tape because we've, we've covered it on, in, on um, other tapes. But you've got to, it's got to be a fudging shake there. The waist turns to the left, then it makes contact. The waist turns back to the right and then back to the left again. So there's three shakes. Bang, bang, bang. Instantly it goes... You get tremendous power just from that distance. It doesn't even feel as if you've punched. I mean, I'm talking to you, and here I bang. You get tremendous without having to go, oh, get ready for it, and then, then hit the thing. Because Fa Jing is simply throwing your body, and you haven't really done anything. You haven't gone, like this, getting punching. You haven't punched. You've just flipped your body, thrown your hand out, and closed it. You've done the correct technique on the end of it. So even with, even with just, just that distance there, you so that's, that's, anyway, that's the first punch that we're going to learn. It's coming in, flicks across, and does a circle, circular motion. So just watch, I'll try and do it in slow motion if I can. See how there's that rebound? That rebound is the closing up of the body, getting ready. It's like a spring closing and opening. The whole body is always closing and opening, closing and opening. So when we throw the first punch, if I do this... Nothing else I could do. I've got to first then float and then do something. That's, I'm holding my body stiff. But if I go like this, ah, see how the body's now, oh, here it is, I didn't even think about doing that hand, it's already there. The body's now getting ready ah, to explode again. But we don't explode that way. In this instance, we've got to t learn the next punch, which is like this. It's making... Now, the important thing here is not so much the punches. Of course, they've got to be right. But it's what the body does. And the best way for me to do it, show you, is to simply do it. Now, see how the body's coiled? Ready for the last strike. It's never just, and then finish. It's coiled ready, ready for the ne next strike to come in. Now, we can practice this, this last strike in two different ways. I can practice bang, bang, and then come back to the top mid, and notice what the elbow's going to do. They're both going to squeeze inwards for this last strike as they make contact. Now it's very hard for your partner to get this back down here in time. You can try and do it and we can try and do it. We'll just do it the first way first. 